back to uh, one of my non-favorite boiler systems right now. I've done videos out here before. I had a pipe I had to replace over there. That was leaking. But we're actually having problems with hot water. And uh, <clears throat> I've been telling this customer that his setup is um, the boiler's undersized. Hundred and fifty six thousand and house is fifty six hundred square feet. Boiler sized right for the floor heat, but it's not sized right for the air handle of the superstore. And like I was saying, it's minimum on that superstore tank on priority you need two hundred and twelve thousand BTUs to get rating out of it you know so many gallons at first hour I think 330 gallons at first hour we're running out of hot water on two showers and basically when the thing starts up my supply pipe I can't even get hot enough it'll only run 140 degree water so I'm very very short on BTUs <clears throat> and the pump might be oversized too I might be pumping too much water not letting it heat it up enough here, but boilers well, undersized to begin with. So that's another another video down the line. Uh, what I'm here to do today is I got to replace uh, <clears throat> an air vent. Got to replace that up there, just the top. That's all we're doing is the top. So you can replace just the tops on these, which is good. I think this is like, I don't know what, how much the part costs, but it comes with a new ring, a new seal, and uh, directions everyone should read. So, I got the water drained out. I'm at zero PSI. Focus. So what I'm going to do, i got all my valves shut off here, here, there, everywhere. So I can just isolate that over there. So let me, let me get up there and pop that off of there. Give me a second, I gotta look at For some reason this won't seat down right. Okay, I got it seated there. This thing this thing's just filled with junk. So Turn this whichever way you want.
Okay, there's our new one. This is our old one. A lot of junk in there. These things get chunked up. You can clean them out, but I just replace them. Things been in there for 10 years. It's time to replace it. So, shutter valve. Shutter valve there. Let's open up our PRV. Low water cutoff just reset. I got everything valved off. It's a super vent replacement assembly. It's almost done filling. Ooh. Just open up the indirect tank there. thing is I won't have to bleed anything out I got all these valves you can hear it it's bleeding air out so let me go get the system started up I just want to bleed just to make sure I don't have any air in it okay we're up and running and uh, this boiler just can't produce enough heat. It was engineered way wrong. I mean, I got all this floor heat, all of it. And I'm running, uh, right now I'm just running the basement slab. And uh, that's my supply temperature. The boiler just started up, so let me give it about 15 minutes and see what it does, but it doesn't heat up fast enough. Well, that's mixed temperature, let's put it that way. Got a mixing valve there. But even then, let's see. Boiler supply. It's right here. Delta T coming off the floor. So, yeah, we're going to end up replacing that Berdera's boiler. Good boiler, but it's just sized wrong. And uh, doesn't give the efficiency the customer wants because, I mean, it doesn't condense. I mean, we're on a floor heat. That's all you want is condensing. So, I mean, you can do it like this all day long, but it's going to cost you money. So, all right, guys, uh, see you on the next one. And hopefully we can get this uh, video on in uh, install video on this boiler system because I'll most likely be out here. All right, guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.